broadcast. Ok. So, hello, hello, YouTube. Good evening. As usual, I will introduce myself. I'm José from TNT. That I believe this immersion is a fun, effective, natural, and many other things to improve our English. And I will explain a little bit what is TNT. TNT is a talk, a talk platform conversation for all levels, beginning, intermediate, and of course, advanced. However, this is not a regular class and we are not here to teach you anything. And But uh, I'm certain that we're going to practice in a real environment. So be respectful with each other. And we are here in the same page just to improve my English. And in, in a nutshell, I, 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 I explain about to you what is my journey on TNT. My journey is I started on TNT since July 2021. Um, during this period, I got a lot of immersion and tried to improve my speaking skill and my listen. And just this year, I turned a uh, host and I am here uh, as you guys, just to try to become better speaker and listen and try to to do everything um, is mostly, you know, like, I mean, try to to make this immersion fun and effective. So I will start with the lady, Salini. Alini, could you introduce yourself, please? Sure. Um, I'm Alini. I'm 41. I work as a product designer. Um, well, I, I have a lot of hobbies. Like I love uh, reading books, uh, listening to podcasts and music too. I like to play guitar and ukulele. And I'm learning to surf. And that's it. I like to I like to try different things. Yeah, sometimes. nice. A, a, a lot of activities to do, as I said, yeah. listen podcasts and play guitar. I think that is the the hard skill to to learn, you know, because I think you need to to do a good job with yeah. your knuckles or I don't know. Uh, and how long time you play guitar? Um I'm learning, I've been learning for two years more or less i don't play well i okay but i i like to to try this yes, sometimes but, but the point uh do you think that you you will play some uh special music uh yes i like M mpb mpb okay. and rock that that kind nice. of music i like more yes and have you ever Gone to the rock festival like Lollapalooza or Rock and Rio? Oh, uh, it's not my thing. Uh, okay. In fact, uh, I like um, going to shows um, sometimes, but I don't like that kind of festivals. Okay. It's too crowded. I, I don't know. It's it's yeah. not my thing. When I was young, I liked this, but nowadays I I don't use to to go for this. Yeah, nice. I just told you because my favorite band is Twenty One Pilots, you know, and that they went to the uh, last Lollapalooza festival, and it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Nice. nice. And yes, uh, usually you work from home, or you need to go to the office. Sorry. Usually, as you said, you you are an employee like uh, uh, you work from home or you go usually go to the office? Uh, in fact, I quit my, jo uh, my job two months okay. ago, but I work um, um, the most time I work at, uh, in my home. Okay. But sometimes I needed to, to go to the office and or you, face to yeah. face with the people. And you are as faithfully think just work from home or do you prefer go from to home. the office? From, from home? home, yeah. Yeah, nice, nice. Okay, thank you. Thank you for uh, this answer. And I just move it to Rodrigo, your turn, man. Could you introduce yourself, please? Yes, my, my name is Rodrigo. I am. 26. Uh, I'm. I like to. I don't know. I also also play, play guitar. I like to play chess. Uh, 
I like to watch movies. Okay, nice. And what kind of music do you play? I like playing, I also like rock. I like folk. Okay. I like uh, some uh, pop rock from Brazil. Okay, nice. Like yeah, it's nice. And how long have you been uh, studying on TNT, this platform? Oh, it's actually my first time. Oh, your yeah, first time, yeah. TNT, yes. Be welcome. And but you. Uh, do you know the experience that you are doing now? Just getting some guys in this in this meeting and talking uh free be free and you know and talking about everything. Yes, I think uh, yeah, I I don't don't know the details, but I think I, I get I get it. Okay, nice. I hope you just feel well, you know, and if you have some doubts, let let me know. But uh, yes, as I said before, we are here in the same page. You know, mistake are this is a part of the process, and you know, try to to speak and be more uh, relaxed. You know, because <laughs> okay, yeah, yeah, okay. Thank you, Rodrigo, and let's move to Luis. Luis, your turn. Please, could you introduce yourself, please? Yeah, I can. I am Luis Souza. I 18 years old. I live in Ceará. I'm from Ceará. Okay. And I, I studied English in, uh, by immersion in a center of, of languages. Okay. It was immersion too. Okay. And, and it was five years ago. And this system is so, is so good as I still remember how, how to say, because I studied, but no more. Okay, okay. And I, be, I, know. And I, began, at, and I began three day egos in TNT, and I'm, still, and I'm still talking with you. Yeah, nice, nice. Yeah, this is the uh, network process, do you know, when you're just getting, getting in, lot of, in a lot of immersion, do you know, you make it connection with other people and sometimes do you take this for a whole life is it's so amazing okay yeah. Luis and, and Ceará State I think is the best state to enjoy uh, I don't know um, best place uh, what, what is the most thing that you do in your city uh, yes this is the problem I, I don't do not often in my city I'm just okay. at home I go okay. to the gym. I I sit at home. I stood. And that, this is my 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 best my my best fun is okay. stood. But okay. is but there the shops, okay. the shop, is... here? Here isn't parks, okay. uh, parks uh, that we can uh, walk relaxed because the criminal. Okay, the I know. Yeah, yeah, it's so dangerous. You need to be careful about everything now. Yeah, it's not yeah. in Ceará. I think São Paulo and everywhere that you are uh, in, you need to be careful about everything nowadays. And the shops, they they lost the the phone. The, the shops, there is nothing to do. We just go to do the same things. We walk, look at things that we want to buy, and we go to the to the cinema. Yeah, we we kiss somebody and. Go out. <laughs> that is not okay. fun. It's the, the same thing. Yeah, yeah. I I know, I know. Okay, thank you, Luis. And let's move into the question, guys. So I I just put on the chat the, the questions. Guys, did you get the question? Yeah. Yes. yes. Okay, nice. And I gonna start with Alini. Alini, could you read for us the number two and answer, please? Um, how would you define a smart city? Yeah, I, I know that you live in Sao Paulo. Do you think Sao Paulo is a smart city? Mm, I don't know. Uh, when I think about smart a smart city, I, maybe I think um, um, a, a European, European okay. city like Berlin. Okay. Like, uh, I don't know, maybe some cities... Um, 
which have some or use uh, a lot of technology to connect things like mobility or um, essential services. I don't know. Uh, I don't know if São Paulo if can be considered a smart city. I think it start uh, São Paulo just start with technology because uh, I I consider that for example if you call the Uber maybe it's use technology to to yeah. call them you know yeah. and, but uh, as you said a lot of uh, devices integrate uh, is not mm, do no perfect. Uh, it doesn't work like Berlin, for yeah. example. But uh, yeah, I think uh, we uh, we stay in the in the middle of the way. I don't know. Other way, yes. And yeah, uh, I don't know if it's true, but uh, at the airport from São Paulo, I think uh, it's not Guarulhos. It's uh, another one. It's Congonha. Nowadays, it's possible, for example. Your face ID just uh, do you know integrate with database Brazilian da database and it's possible to do you know to integrate mm. with uh, your face. I don't know what is the purpose, but uh, I think it just uh, started this year. Mm, I, I didn't know. Yes, but uh, as you said uh, about uh, the person needs to uh, to do something special like uh, the uh, wheelchair, do you know? I, I don't think that São Paulo is the best, not the best, but the place that uh, have, you know, a lot of uh, special rules f uh, for them, you know? I mean, for example, when the wheel wheelchairs just uh, walk through the street, you know, the sidewalks keep it, you know, uh, high, it's not like, it, yeah. you know, mm -hmm. nice. I don't know. Yeah, yeah, and but do you think? Uh, uh, I mean, are you looking for a new technology that São Paulo uh, accepted? For example, you waiting for something or not? I don't know. For example, if you use the train or the bus, uh, for example, probably you can see exactly the time that the bus or the train yeah. arrive, you know? Yeah, maybe this goes um, in, uh, here in Sao Paulo. Uh, if you put in the Google Maps, for example, yeah. you can see uh, the um, some bus line uh, and understand uh, where this, uh, this bus will pass. But the exact time, it's difficult to know. It's difficult, yeah. yeah. It, it will be, I mean, it, it will be interesting if you, for example, have a, a screen, for example, in a bus station, and you see the São, São Paulo maps and see exactly the point that the bus are. Yeah. Do you know? Here, yeah, here in São Paulo, uh, we have some uh, bus stop uh, with this. Uh, but I don't know if uh, it works. Um, okay. But uh, some uh, some some places here, like in the uh, center, um, okay. we have some bus stop with with that kind of technology. Yeah, nice. Uh, and another thing that I I, I recall in, in São Paulo, I went to the building and getting my badge ID to get access on the on the turnstile, on the, the devices. And when I pass my badge in the reader, you know, the exactly automatic the elevator, just, uh, you know, open the door and take me to the exactly the floor. It it was, I don't know, amazing because, you know, uh, automatic integration about uh, this, it, I don't know, it's security, you know? Yeah, uh, I, I didn't see that yeah. yet, but um, for example, some... Uh, uh, um, some bus lines here uh, accept a credit card. Oh, okay. So it's a it's a good start. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Good start. Of it's course. like in London. In London, you can uh, okay. use your credit card uh, in all uh, all bus line and the subway, and this is completely integrated. But yeah. here, yeah, uh, we... I think he. 
uh, this is as you said, this is a good start because you don't need to to looking for a bank to getting money, no. real money, you know. Or buy for a card, a specific card for bus or for subway. You okay. can use your credit card and uh, for uh, you can use for a while. Like I don't know how many times you can use this, but uh, once uh, they stop to. Um, Uh, you stop to pay for this because they have um, a high, I don't know how can I say that, but uh, you have, uh, you can pay, uh, for example, until uh, 10 pounds, for example. Okay, I, okay. I don't know how much, but how much? Okay. Uh, they stop to, to cobrar, I, I don't know. To how charge. To, to charge, uh, yeah. to charge you. Um, okay, okay, thank you, nice. So let's move it to Rodrigo. What about you? Uh, how do you define smart city? Uh, especially, first of all, where are you from? I'm from Frederic Santana, Bahia. Okay, and do you think that Bahia is a smart city? Uh, no, I don't think uh that where I live is a smart city. I think I, I already have been to Sao Paulo, so I think okay. that yeah. uh, it's probably a better example of a smart city. Um, but yeah, I, I think that uh, when I think of smart city, I think of a lot of different technologies uh, integrating the day-to-day -day life, like uh, you're talking about uh, the mobility, right? Like yeah, mobility. Uh, yeah. yeah. So I think that's a good example. And in here we have some as examples. I don't think that we don't have anything like a smart city, but I think that there's a lot, a lot to evolve. Yeah, I, I remember that in Salvador, uh, shopping mall, um, that the, the, you know, uh, I went to the, uh, the food place and it's already, uh, done when you, you don't need to get it order from cashier. You just put in the, you know, the totem and you get oh, your order from yeah. there. For, I think that it's, I, it's smart technology, you know? Yes, I I didn't know that I, I don't I didn't know that place, but I, I agree. I think that that is smart technology. And I also think that when you go to the supermarket and yeah. you can also have like a totem, right? Yeah, yeah. I yeah. think that, that that kind of thing is already showing here. Yeah. You already yeah. see some places. Yeah, but do you think in five years more in the future, do you think Feira de Santana will increase about some technologies? Yeah, I, I definitely think that, that yes. I think that uh, if I look uh, maybe in, in the last five years, I think that uh, we, we are a lot better now. So I expect that five years from now, we would have uh more technologies yeah do you uh you are uh, are waiting for the uh special technology or not yeah I, i don't i don't think that one special technology i think maybe i think that the Um, several small steps, I okay, think, but several. I don't. I don't have one specific technology that I think that. Okay. We'll okay. To have now. Nice. Uh, in your family, all of them using technology like a smartphone. Or, I don't know, watching smart TV. E, yeah, I think I I use a lot of technology i think uh, most of the smartphones like is okay. what we carry all day right but yeah okay okay thank you rodrigo uh let's move it to luis man your turn please uh i i i think that sarah maybe um just have a lot of technologies in the city yes or not not We're the not. best. We're the best state of 
natural environment and education in oh, okay educational from from fundamental and middle education but for example i was from the i was of the the robotic club and my my friend my friends they traveled to to united states they traveled to sao paulo because they're the best in in brazil of robotic robotic but yeah yeah here, here in here in Sierra we have the best students but we don't we don't have uh, infrastructure we, we don't have infrastructure and, yeah. and or support from the government yes yeah, exactly there is part of the government they yeah. here here in Sierra we are the the people of Lula the people of of the left and and he and he we vote in them and we don't know the 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 improve of technology that that has that that is in Sao Paulo, the in the south south part of Brazil. The south yeah. part of Brazil is the the increase in technology and students, but here we don't have this. Yeah, yeah. Do you create the robot? No, I I, I didn't. I didn't increase to this to this part, but they they my friends they created the great Hobbits, in, including to the pandemic. Okay, they, nice. They created a belt that that clean the the bags of the students, oh, and nice. they, they created uh, cars automatically automatically, and and other things like a like a a ship. Okay, nice. Yes, yes. As you said, I think CRI students have a great endeavor from robots. Uh, I notice about that because uh, here in São Paulo uh, we have a lot of competition tournament about the robot, and it it is amazing. Okay, Luis. Thank you. Thanks so much. And Luis, could you read the next question for us, please? Number three. Is the, the question three? Yes, please. Do you require smart cities? Have you ever lived in a smart city or heard of one? Yes. I answer the question? Yes, please. I I don't live in a smart city. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Not far. Me either. It, it, yeah. It is the same that I have to say. And uh, yeah, yeah. But it, do you require it? I require if I yeah. want? Yes. I it's a dream, but it's a dream that I that I, I will live in in heaven with God, and I haven't this. <laughs> yeah, but I think Ceará just started to do something. I mean, for example, when it's raining, do you think that there are some places that get this raining water and save it in a, I don't know, in a, in a place? If, uh, if people would do this? Yeah, do, 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 you, do you know some, some place that did do that? No, he's we have we have some we have some uh, giant giant oh. uh, boxes it's really yeah. giant like a like a hotel like a, a house okay that, that is open floor okay there is a tower in the top the the box that collect the water but okay. it, yeah it is from from government not not our people okay uh, people, okay the people who do this uh, is in the in the center of of Sertão. I don't know how to say Sertão. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You could say Sertão because uh, uh, you don't have uh, this translation English. Okay, and what about the electric panel? Do you know uh, to get a uh, a sunshine and make elect electricity? Do you think that there is in Ceará? Yeah, obviously, because we there we're the best place to we're the best place, and we the the top 
uh, industry of heolic and solar industry. Yes, the solar panel. Yes, but yeah. is it is the same in São Paulo? Uh, I know that nowadays, if you have a solar panel in, at your house, for example, you can you need to pay some taxes to government. I don't know yeah. if it's yeah, the same. It, yeah. Yeah, we have the the basic tax, the basic basic tax too, because we have the disponibility to use the energy of government. But it's just to, to this. We we pay because we have the disponibility. We okay. don't use. Okay. <laughs> Do you think that is fair? Is fair? I mean, what, what uh, means fair, fair? Fair, for example, the, uh, we when you I I try to explain you. It's for example, it's uh, it's uh, the the reality. It's fair. I mean, uh, for example, we is justo. Do you know? Yeah, it's it, it's it's good. It's just okay. And, but but is it but it isn't a reality to us, Cerensis. C- because we don't need we don't have money to to pay our solar panel the solar panel is in in the least 18 18000 we don't have this money okay so, yeah but but it, but is but it's common okay okay yeah you're right man okay thank you luis let's move it to rodrigo what about you man uh, do you he require a smart city or or have you ever lived it in a smart city? Yeah, I I don't think we necessarily need a smart city, but I definitely think that we could improve a lot uh, in our cities, in our day-to-day lives, if we we lived in one. I don't, I wouldn't say that I live in a smart city. I think maybe, I mean, the closest to it, it was Sao Paulo, but uh, yeah, I think we could definitely make uh, our infrastructure better, uh, yeah. day-to-day activities in the city better. Yes. And what about the electric car? Do you think that you, this number, the average inc- will increase in a few years? Yes, I, I think I think that today is very very hard to uh, the population get an electric car because it's not really affordable. But I I think that in the future uh, maybe it will be more accessible. So I expect that we see increase in the electric cars, okay. and I think it's. It's good for the environment. Yeah, nice. But I think he, the price is not good, you know? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Exactly. That, that's the problem. Yeah, that's the problem. <laughs> I don't know if in my whole life I will buy some electric car. <laughs> yeah, I think that maybe in the future we have better prices. Yeah. I think that... I mean, it's really the only way that uh, will be possible for for have an increase. But yeah, I think that the natural way is uh, as the technology the technology is improving. We will find cheaper ways to produce electric cars, cheaper ways, and we can sell cheaper also. Okay, nice. Thank you, Rodrigo. Let's move to Aline. Aline, your turn, please. I wanted to ask you before, but uh, I see these questions and I think, have you ever lived in a smart city before? Mm, uh, well, if Sao Paulo is considered a smart yeah. city, yeah. yeah. Uh, but I live, um, I, in fact, I don't live, but I, have, um, I visited uh, some smart cities like... London, Berlin, but I don't live for a long time. Okay, but how yeah. was it that Jesse? Do you know uh, you you you've been to London and Berlin? Do you think that th- those places are totally advanced to 
our Brazilian cities? Um, I don't think so, uh, but um, I think the, the main difference uh, maybe is because there uh, the things work well. Okay. Uh, so, but I think here uh, in Sao Paulo, we have a lot of technology to, um, uh, to hit with them, but um, we need to put this uh, to, to work, in fact. Okay. Okay, and and uh, what about the uh, the environment from London and Berlin? Do you think that it's clean than São Paulo? No, uh, of course, no, uh, no, not. <laughs> but uh, they have a lot of uh, electric car, for example. Okay. So oh, yeah. probably um, they will invest uh, in in that, but. I don't know. Uh, they have uh, a lot of industry, and I don't know if uh, that that uh, that kind of investment it helps a lot when you have a lot of things to um, to prejudice or to uh, the the environment. So maybe. Okay. Nice. And what is the most, or I mean, uh, if you will not go into the uh, another country uh, do you have a dream to visit some some country in your life um in europe or i don't know around uh, the world whatever around the world uh, of course uh, i if i if i could i travel around the world but i don't know uh, now, mm. uh, I don't know, um, cause uh, I visited the 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 main cities. I had a dream to visit Peru, for example. Oh, Peru, okay. But I was I I've been there in twenty thirteen, so okay. that's uh, that was my my dream. Nice. Uh, now I of course I want to to continue traveling around the world, but I don't have a, a dream for a specific a specific okay. city. Okay, nice. Yeah, I think it's a good uh, experience when you know about another culture, another country. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, thank you. And let's move it to another question. Rodrigo, could you read for us, please, and answer? The fourth question, right? Yeah, right. You're right. Does the development of smart cities improve people's lives? Uh, I think that I, I mentioned a little bit in the last question, but yes, yeah. definitely. I think that um, it, it, I think that it could improve in several ways, like uh, mobility, like um, maybe even i don't know health um yeah but it but the point uh what about the kids life i mean be sociable i don't know do you know uh try to i i don't i didn't understand what about the uh, kids life i mean oh okay uh, i i oh. mean for example when they they spend a lot of time on technology, computer, cell phone, and do you think that it improved their lives or just someone it's wrong? I don't know. Yeah, I, I think that it could uh, hurt a little bit the development. Uh, so I think that is. In, Particularly when we talk about uh, kids, children, I think that it must, it should have a balance. So we should find a way to uh, uh, get the tech away from them and let them be more sociable, yeah. uh, talk among themselves. But I think that we, if they don't use too much, it could be good. Okay, if we nice. limit, uh, it could be good. Yes. Uh, do you think that the parents just know about it, exactly the, the the point that you needed to 
get a limit from the devices? No, I don't think so. Yeah, but I don't know. I, I also think that this is more recent, uh, recent thing. So I think the most parents don't have much uh, reference to how, how to handle it. But I think that as time time goes by, I, I think that people is people are start to learn how to, uh, I don't know, maybe be better at that. Okay. Okay, thank you. Uh, Alini, what is your point of view? Oh, sorry. I don't know. Uh, I think uh, it depends because it would uh, get better or worse. Uh, depends. I think the technology uh, could be help us in a lot of things. But sometimes that kind of things um, can harm uh, or like a society. Okay. So I, and, uh, yeah, I, and I don't know, maybe in the future, the robots uh, will kill us. So yeah. I really yeah. don't know. Yeah, yeah. But uh, do you think that, uh, I don't know if you just get the point. Uh, when you go to the restaurant, you probably see a lot of people text a message do you know, uh, I don't know, for example, when you hang out with your friends and maybe uh, I like to talk with them, you know, to uh, be sociable, but mm -hmm. most of them just stay in a, in a cell phone. I don't know why. And I don't know I, if it... I think it's horrible. Uh, for yeah. me, it's horrible. Um, I avoid... Uh, to stay a lot of time in the cell phone, main when I'm stay with the other people, because I think it's not a good thing. If you stay with someone, uh, you need to enjoy this time with yeah, that to interaction. Uh, yeah, in, and not uh, to texting for the other people. I don't know. For me, it doesn't make sense. So I I don't like this. Yes, but Definitely. what is your reaction about that? For example, if you are in a in a table in a restaurant table now, mm -hmm. and uh, uh, Rodrigo and, and and I just getting a cell phone, what is our reaction? Do you just uh, maybe uh, touch us about? Okay, guys, uh, let the I don't know you get some advertising for. No, no, I don't say nothing, uh, okay. but uh, I try to start a conversation, uh, but I don't um, notice about that uh, act, uh, actions. I try to start a conversation, I talk about something, some uh, series, uh, some, okay. I don't know, some subject that people like. Uh, but I try uh, not uh, not be that kind of people who complain about okay. technology or yeah yeah I don't know. yeah yeah okay thank you I don't know if Luis Luis you are back I don't think so okay uh, okay uh, just uh, move to another question number five uh, could you read for us Aline please. Okay. Uh, in general, what are the problems that start cities can solve? Economy, connective, and security. Yeah. Mm, I don't know. I think the all that topics uh, that smart cities can can solve. Uh, of course, technology can be used to to good things or bad things. So we need to be careful about that because I don't know, uh, do you do you watch um, Black Mirror? Yes, uh, I have watched it about this series. It's amazing. Yeah. Have you ever, have you ever watched Black Mirror, Rodrigo? Yes, okay. I also have watched it. Okay, so you know, uh, there's a lot of uh, example uh, yeah. technology using in a bad way. In a bad so, way, yeah. Unfortunately, yeah. yeah. 
Yeah, so I don't know. Uh, I think uh, the, the smart cities can solve a lot of things, but mm, I don't know if I if I confident about the human being who um, who create that kind of technology or yeah, yeah. I don't know using that kind of technology. Yeah, but do you think that it, Jesse, as you said, sometimes technology bring a lot of trouble getting trouble with us and but it's better to live without technology or with technology i sorry repeat please yes about technology nowadays do you think that it's possible to live without technology or it doesn't matter no way no way i think uh we we stay in a in a point uh we can't um live without technology but of course uh, we can uh, you need to be careful using okay. that yeah but... especially especially other people because uh, i have my uh, grandparents that using nowadays whatsapp and mm -hmm. they know you need to be careful about the message mm -hmm. that the guy sent to us for example uh hey uh grandpa uh i'm i am your cousin i need to some money could you get a pics for me but it's not true yeah. you know? my mom received a message yeah. like that oh my um, God. someone uh, called uh, her um, um, and say and they, uh, they, he said uh, he said it was me and yeah. asked for money but of course uh, she she is smart she is okay Okay, thank you. Thanks so much. And what about you, Rodrigo? In general, what are the problems that smart city can solve for us? I think that it uh, can help in all of these problems that uh, we have in the question, like economy, connectivity, and security. But I I agree with Aline. We to like I, I don't know how uh i don't know if we would successfully use for that purpose or if it will be a bad thing i because i think that like the technology technology is like a tool right so uh if if we don't have the the right way to use it or the right intentions, yeah. uh, it wouldn't be useful and it wouldn't be helpful. Okay, okay, nice. And especially when you are looking for, uh, for example, uh, the people get a special things, I mean, wheelchair, I don't know, or blind people, you know, uh, we need to improve this infrastructure for them, do you know? Uh, because it, yes. for example when you go to the uh small city probably you can see the for example the bus just prepared to these guys do you know and yes i don't know uh maybe they just get frustrated about it oh my god i i'm uh special guys and i don't have the you know the the not opportunity you have the the accessibility the accessibility yes because it, mm. it's free the government needs to do that yes. okay okay thank you and luis uh are you back yeah okay nice nice we are in a, in a five questions and in general what are the problems that smart city can solve for us Smart City, they can improve accidents. Oh, uh, yes. Can improve accidents with O's, O's, uh, the third, the, the third age, with, in, with cars, the problem, the accidents with cars, but the, but the, this is the best because the, the, the most, the most, the, the most, the, how can I say, the most, the most reason of accidents are caused by the, the, the bad infrastructure. Infrastructure okay. is not a problem of technology. 
is a problem go governmental okay that, I, that we that we the worst pay, uh, country in for example streets we have a, a countries say that we we have streets that w- that we that is there is how can i say uh regresso yeah jesse uh, as you said don't improve yeah the, the streets don't don't prove the quality but the quality, in, yeah. other, in other countries the the street have five five parts five camadas okay 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 but do you think that smart city improve the uh the accident i mean uh when you're in a, in a highways maybe if it if it is smart city just improve with it uh red lights i don't know um safe conditions and safe quality from the highways that's the means that you said yeah can can improve but not but not all tr- but no all problems because C- the part of problems are caused by the government government okay yeah but, but can improve the economic like like pigs pigs yeah. improve, like, improve our lives that i i i'm proud i'm proud the the people who who say oh bread and bread and coffee in front of university and 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 industries they have they have the pla- the the pl- the plaque i don't know how to say but they have the plaque with the pigs and okay and i know the, yeah they the have VCs the sign are, you can you could say they have the sign with the pigs information yeah and, and this is easier to to say on today and it's safer to to us that we charge the the money in the in the bags okay do you think that pigs it was the hood in denver that our the guys invented yeah yeah okay nice Nice guys, yes, the time is fly. Unfortunately, we we don't have so much time. And let's try to to answer the last question. Um Aline, just pick some questions and answer, please. Uh the sixth one. Yeah. Uh, your choice is up to you. If you, for example, one answers for example number 10 number nine is oh, up okay. to you oh, okay and do you believe that the smart city will increase our security strategies uh, to lower crime levels yeah um i don't know uh i think uh the that kind of things um um, it would be solved. Uh, it would solve uh, with uh, government support or yeah. decrease in inequality. Uh, but of course, sometimes uh, some kind of technology like cameras can yeah. can help, but don't solve the problem. Don't fact, solve, yeah. yeah. Yeah, like that uh, episode in, uh, from Black Mirror with yeah. the technology bees. Yeah, That's yeah, yeah. Creepy that kind of thing. Some uh, something and uh, monitoring you all the time. I think it's not solve the problem. Can can help, but yeah, especially when you're living in Brazil. I don't know if this thing we work in Brazil. Do you know? Yeah. <laughs> okay, <laughs> let's move it to Rodrigo. Your turn, please. Um, can I ask the the same answer the same question, right? Oh. It's up to you if you. Want to answer another? Oh, okay. No, yeah, I think I'll I'll stay with the same question. And I I don't think I, I agree with, with the answer that you two gave. I, I don't think that it would improve and maybe help to uh, monitor and react 
but I think like if we look like today's society, we have a lot of cities and a lot of countries with different levels of security. Okay. And and we have that I don't see an association with technology with level of security. I think it is more like um government measures and uh more a, I think this should be solved more on a political level than on a technological one. So I don't think that uh, as much it would improve in that aspect. Yeah, it, it is totally depends from government. Yeah, I, I think government and society maybe, I think is, uh, is the two things. Yeah, okay, thank you. Great, so let's move to Luis. What about you, man? Uh, do you want to read some questions or answer this question for us, please? Yeah, the question six. Do you okay. believe that the smart city will increase our security? Yeah, can can increase, but like I, as I say, uh, Nadia, I I can know, I can I I don't know how to say in, in English. But okay. Não adianta, não adianta you, you monitor the criminals in cameras, but while you, you catch them and go and, and take to the, the prison, they're, they're out the same day. So, okay. so the, the technology just, just, just serves with the the help with government okay 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 yes yes i agree with you so no use monitoring if you don't have if, if you you are not prepared about these things you know <laughs> yeah guys okay guys uh, unfortunately we don't have enough time and uh it was my pleasure to talk with you guys and i think it was amazing uh, conversation because I got a lot of experience from you guys and please uh, if you want to talk uh, something that you you are uh, think that it's special let me know and I will bring it to our merchant and I hope you guys that like this conversation or if you didn't like it, do you know uh, let me know, please. I just put in the chat the, the customer uh, link about it. And what, what do you think about this immersion? And again, I hope you guys have a great Tuesday night and of course Friday and a amazing weekend. And I hope to see you next time, guys. And if you have some some doubts, let me know. And I'd like to hear from you, Aline. Uh, how was the conversation? Do you think that it it was great? Yes, I, I like so much. Um, okay. Nice. Thank you. And thank you Rodrigo? Yeah, I also liked it. Yeah, we have... Uh, I We have an opportunity to practice, so yeah, it's really yeah. nice. Nice. Okay, thank you. And what about you, Luis? Did you like yeah, I like so. I like okay. too, and I am proud of your work. Thank you. Yeah, thanks so much, you guys, again, and I hope to see in an, another immersion. And I think you, we talking about the cutting edge technology. I mean, if you are first movie on from technology, okay, guys. Thank you. See you guys. See you. Bye bye. Have a great Friday and weekend. Bye bye.